Pang, pang. What is up guys? As you already know from the title, I adapted a young Staffy a couple of months ago and it was kind of weird actually. Here I was walking in the forest when I heard this weird sound. All of a sudden I see this lonely dog running towards me and Molly. And she was like, hello, may I live with you? And I mean, how could you say no to that face? So obviously I brought her home with me and here she is, our new member of the pack. Just gonna let them loose real quick. Let's see what happens if I release Wilde first. Vänta. Really so hype, just waiting for me to release Molly. One, two, three. <laughs> now obviously I did not find her in the woods. It was a joke guys, a joke. So my girlfriend moved in with me and brought Wilde here with her. So it's been a couple of months now and it's amazing how well these dogs get along with each other. I mean, just look at them. It's like two hooligans having a blast, you know? Now getting two adult dogs to feel comfortable with each other's presence, it can be a bit difficult. Especially when your dog is a dominant and a high energy dog, you know. I will make a video of its own of how we taught them to be with each other without, you know, anyone getting defensive, upset, jealous or protective. But for now, I will just tell you that we took every precaution possible and the result of that, it's amazing. I mean, Molly have never played physically with a dog before. Now it's basically all they do. We literally have to separate them from time to time. And not because we fear that they might hurt each other, but because they play with each other so damn much, it's actually getting annoying. But sometimes it doesn't really matter what we do. They seem to always find a way to be with each other. So yeah, they kind of figure out how to get around our solutions. So after leaving them for just, uh, you know, a couple of minutes, I will often find them like this. And after we've been separating them again, they sneak out to the balcony where we can't see what they're doing. What are you guys doing? So anyway, having two dogs is great. Of course there's up and down side, but most importantly, they get along with each other. They love each other, they always want to be close, you know, whether it's on a chair or sleeping in the same bed. 
But of course, that doesn't mean that they will never fight with each other. Like ourselves, they can still be tired and irritated. So even though they clash with each other with no intention of fighting, just the pure force of the body weight and open jaws, I mean, they can still get hurt. I mean, a paw can be broken, a jaw can be broken, you know. And obviously, that's not what we want. So we will still continue taking every precaution possible that we can. Safety and having fun will always be our main focus, you know. Pang, pang! Oh, yeah, buddy! That's just mean. That's just being rude. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for us to go home. And you guys can count on many, many videos of these two dogs in the future. And you know, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And of course, if you want to see more of these dogs and maybe learn a little bit of the breeds and get some tips and tricks of some regular dog training, consider hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay positive and spoil your dog. Peace.